I'm Armored Chocobo, and I make video game videos for the internet. And I seem to have some kind of weird fascination with time lately. I don't know if it's the turn of the decade or what, but I have another time game for you. After Link did his Aegis thing, there's another time game that got introduced. Yeah, it's that game. It's definitely that game. From 1995? From Square, back when Square was uh, a little bit more sane. Also re-released in PlayStation in 99. Remade for the DS in 2008. The iOS, the mobile in 2011. Steam in 2018, even though that's just a repurposed mobile version. This is the SNES version. And I'm using a different emulator this time. I mean, totally legit SNES. My other one is obviously not getting any updates at all. Too old. So I'm trying something called BizHawk now. A different kind of totally legit SNES. But this game might need some introduction to some people that don't know about it. It's a, well, an RPG, as Square likes to do. It has some interesting new elements that weren't in RPGs before. And it was kind of riding the wave of other RPGs, like you had, um, I think 94 was Final Fantasy VI. This was 95. Earthbound came out in 95. Then you had Final Fantasy in 97. So mid late 90s were just RPG mecha. And if you ask anybody what's your favorite RPG, they probably have this on the list somewhere. It was made by the Dream Team of Square Enix. That wasn't Square Enix at the time, it was just Square Soft. It was made by Hironobu Sakaguchi from the Final Fantasy series, fresh off of Final Fantasy VI. The producer was Kazuhiko Aoki. There was Yuji Hori from the Dragon Quest. Obviously, from some of the art you've been seeing, Akira Toriyama had his hand in it. From Dragon Quest and Dragon Ball Z. And we have two composers, Yatsunori Mitsuda, but then he got sick like halfway through and they pulled in Nobo Omatsu instead. Yeah, that guy. The Final Fantasy guy. He made about 10 tracks for this game too. Oh, and by the way, all these scenes, that they're absolutely not in the game. The, the producers are just japing you. I think I saw, like, flying spaceships, and now we're fighting some kind of skeleton dude. And I'm pretty sure we saw, like, Unga Bunga Caveman stuff. Yeah, like, right there. I guess it's a time-traveling game. The best kind of time-traveling. Alright, you got to see the intro? Are you happy? Because I think I'm going to be skipping the intro because it's really long. This is not for your brains. Oh yeah, the ATB thing was new around this time. You could choose active or waiting. I think you could always change it later. It's active time battle version 2. The improved version. And here's Chrono. He is Goku. He is quite literally Goku. And he has the eyes like Cloud. Yeah, I'm seeing where they got ideas for later games. Yeah, he's definitely Chrono. He gets a gun, too. He's gonna be bang, 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 pulling his Chrono trigger. And already things are exploding. Oh, it's a festival! They should be waiting till nighttime for that. People will get the wrong idea. You might be wondering, hey, why this game? You're all about the obscure games. This is Chrono Trigger Plus. It's a ROM hack version of Chrono Trigger. They added some extra fan-made stuff and deleted contents. They made the enemies a little bit harder because you could roll over them in the endgame. They did some quality of life adjustments. So I figured if I was going to ever play Chrono Trigger, it's going to be with one that's been altered slightly. And yeah, Chrono is that kind of protagonist. 
He's more like Lucas. It's the Millennial Fair! Go and play with the Dragos! Wait, there's no Dragos in this game? Where's Chrono's twin brother? It just dresses in a different shirt than him, so we don't get confused. Yeah, I guess he's an only kid. At least I'm, he's a morning person. When he gets up. But there you go, Akira Toyama art. This is Chrono. He is lightning for some reason. And right away we get our first change of the game. Something around here. Oh, you're talking about Luca. With her funky looking jazz helmet. All good scientists wear a helmet just like that one. So she's working on an invention. I want to go off to the fair. Maybe meet Luca. Maybe see some science. With my 200G. No gill, no rupees, just G. Just plain old G. This isn't in the regular game. This is the first plus edition. Everyone's going, hey, where's Chrono's mom? Did she sleep in the kitchen? So they went ahead and just added a room for her. There's nothing to do in the room. Just to satisfy fans, you know. And we got Kitten! Hello, Kitten! Kittens aren't allowed at the fair. They're not even allowed outside. I mean, look how big these birds are. We get introduced to the world map extremely early in this game. We could get into our first battle, like, immediately. So much things to explore, but I need to go to a fair. There's a fair going on, and I want in. Welcome to the Millennial Fair! There's some other things I could show you that are plus-based, but, uh, let's move the story on a little bit here. So what are we celebrating, anyway? What's so great about this millennia? I gotta tell you, this decade isn't doing so great. And we got Strength Measurement Machine! What do they call this officially? Something to test your strength. Yay, Silver Points! Millennia. I'm trying to think of Millennia. Wouldn't Millennia be Diamond? Shouldn't I be getting Diamond Points? Guess how many Millennia is the question. Hey, I wanted to get to the pies. Long, long time ago, we'll never learn anything more about that. Absolutely not. Oh, uh, I only got a little bit... Wait a second. How did I end up with 600G? I got 200G. I must have had some money to start with and just not know about it. Yeah, I'll take ten of your potions, good sir. Thank you. And this dude is selling... karate stuff. And helmets. I could spend my allowance on a helmet. Ah, that doesn't sound like a great souvenir. You know, this kind of reminds me of a renaissance fair. Maybe I should get myself a fake... sword. You know, one of those... Souvenir ones, they'll break as soon as I use it. From this guy, Melchior. An Iron Blade! Yeah! Chrono's a complete nerd. I'll check you out sometime, or maybe not. How would we ever want to check out that guy? Well, we got a sword. Great. Look at this. Link took half a game to upgrade from a wood sword. We get it immediately. Take that sword. Chrono knows how to protagonist better than you. Yeah, the science tends to do that. Means bell. We'll never hear that ring. What the heck is going on over here? We got weird aliens and knights and whatever. Go steal runner. Yeah, why in the heck not? I gotta go with Cadillac. The only animal in this group. No, that, that alien dude does not count. By the way, his name is the Green Ambler. Come on, Cadillac, you could do it! Yeah, you got an early lead! I believe in you! Cadillac is the best runner ever. That's because he has four legs. He's kind of cheating. Alright, I did it! Now we have to wait for everybody to finish, to get the results. Come on, you. Get going. Go. Thank you. 
ridiculous. So I won 20 silver points! I wonder what I could do with those silver points. I'm going with Cadillac again. And, uh, you know, he doesn't really need the help. Watch this. I'm gonna just get in everybody's way and be abrasive. Go, Cadillac, go! I got you covered! <laughs> We're cheating. Cadillac's the best, though. He, he doesn't need my help. But yeah, you, you could definitely mess up the joggers by running into them. That's a thing you can do, and no one says anything about it either. I'm gonna win 20 silver points again. Thank you. There's some cheating we could do in this fair. Oh, yeah, he'll definitely try something. Watch him try something. I'm gonna watch him. Which one's Steel Runner? This dude here? This guy? Oh, yeah, he's trying something, all right. I'm trying something, too. Get back to... No, I don't... Ah, I made him go faster. He saw what I did with Cadillac, and he just knew. All right, enough messing around with the, the race here. The Tent of Horrors! I don't want to go to the Tent of Horrors just yet. Something tells me we'll be back here later. And everybody will be doing the exact same things they used to be doing. But we fought a wizard! This game has a Ganondorf! Of course it does, it's an RPG. And there's Lane's Bell! That was... that was weird. Uh, lady, you, you literally just double-backed on me. Actually, I was expecting her to impact a lot sooner, that's why I stopped my commentary. But I'm just gonna go with it. And the shockwave had a delayed reaction and triggered the bell. Oh no, her pendant! Even though she was a complete jerk to me! You know, I'm going to have to take you to court now. But they don't have court in this universe? The heck is wrong with these people? Fine, I'm keeping this pendant. This pendant is mine now. Alright. I have a bad feeling something bad's going to happen if I keep it. Yeah, you kind of are warping around like you did. I... It's against my better judgment, but maybe you won't run into more people. Look, I'm just taking the, the, the fall for this so nobody else gets hurt. It's Marl! Or Marley. I'm going with Marl, because that's a ridiculous pronunciation. Also, Chrono, that's a ridiculous name. Really? Your parents just named you after time? That's kind of weird. Ah, we could exchange silver points for money! Hey, I could exchange all these silver points right now. Come back here and farm points later. I could go and buy some more, you know, medieval souvenir stuff. I wonder what's going on over here. It's a soda guzzling contest! You know, this game isn't doing a hell of a lot with its plot. It, it's just, hey, festival, go nuts. Just screw with the runners, drink some soda. Absolutely nothing bad is going to happen. Alright, more points! No, I just know how to mash my button really, really good. And no, not like that. Ew. Oh no, kitten! Secondary quest. I have priorities, you know. We have to find kitten. Also, this guy's sitting down for his lunch. His lunch is right here. We could actually eat his lunch, but why would we do that? That's terrible. Come on, kitten, come with us. For some reason, this feels like it's important. And we need this kitten to go back. Kitten, you're kind of... Kitten, you're, you're in the way. You're literally in the way, thank you. Kitten has a hitbox. And it's bigger than kitten. Just remember that for everyday life. Kittens have a hitbox. Don't get stuck on your kitten. Your cat has some kind of gravitational field, kid. That certainly isn't saving my soul from some kind of disaster later. Alright, cavemen! Wait a second. Oh, it's just one of those performance artists. 
Oh yeah, by the way, there's running in this game. Did I know that, did I mention that to you? It's very important. You hold the B button to run. Especially since it takes forever to get somewhere. It's like sub earthbound speed. Alright, dancing! That's not dancing. That's not dancing either. That's more like it, even though it's a little lewd. That looks like a repurposed ladder animation. Well, we partied for a little bit, that's great. And what else we could do at the fair with our new friend? That we literally just ran into. Don't know where she came from. She seems a little lost. How about we try a battle trainer? Hmm, it's a good thing I bought potions. This guy looks tough. This guy is Gato! Agonzoresu Ore wa suyoi Ore mi katara shibaru points Oh! Everybody knows the Gato theme. Even if you don't know the Gato theme, you probably heard it. Of course, mine is from the animated version. But Ghetto is kind of upgraded in this game. In this ROM hack. He can hit like a truck. He has a counter. Because this game believes in ARPG stuff. If he's close to anybody, he's gonna beat the snot out of them. See? He can't counterattack. He moved himself too far away to counterattack me. Now he could only attack us with music. I think it's supposed to cause uh, a confusion, but it doesn't work like that. Ah, don't hang out next to Marl. Don't punch Marl either. That's bad for you. Go back into your corner. I think that's far away from Chrono. Nope, nope, he's getting punched in the face. He has to go to his upper corner. They call him Gonzalez in the Japanese version because it's a reference to uh, a wrestler that fought with a Japanese dude named Guts, which is where the Guts pose came from. And his name was Iron Gonzalez. And now we're fighting an Iron Gonzalez that won't stay in his corner. I really don't want him punching Marl anymore. In the original game, this guy is a complete pushover. I made him look easy because I prepared for this. I know what's going on here. Also, we learned our first move. I don't know, I think I like the race better, since I could cheese it and not get the crap beat out of me by a giant robot. Do we have any more time? Yes, we have plenty of time. You know what? She's not familiar with this place. We might as well, you know, check out some more things. Maybe he has some armor. No, he would just have the silver shield, wouldn't he? The silver sword. It's called the Load Sword in the regular game. Silver is the uh, DS version name. Also, he notices that Bandit. I, I already tried that, buddy. How about now? Hmm, that's tempting. I shouldn't say that too loudly. I do have a bunch of money, though. Ah, uh, I want to grab that armor. Oh, and uh, something about Luca is ready now. Hmm, I'm not getting her a souvenir. The heck with her. This is all for me. Alright! After you uh, talk to a bunch of people in the fair with uh, Marl chasing you around, Luca prepares her science thing. But until then, there's just like some dude saying, hey, no, you can't see science thing yet. It doesn't have enough science built up. How about we don't do that? How about we go to residence? Let's just meet the people in town. King Guardia the 33rd. They not know how a democracy works. Also, you can walk around while the text is going on. So we could just leave this room. He's having daughter issues. Hey, Mom, look what I bought at the fair. You were doing some weird warping things, too. This game is kind of jank with its animations at times. It's not the first time we're going to see that happen. 
But yeah, Mom knows you now. You are officially my girlfriend. Against my better judgment. Somehow, that she just got that thought in her head. Well, don't talk about her like that. I mean, she builds robots. They could punch you. It's crazy. Welcome to market. You're not welcome to market. I've probably already been to the market. Oh, now it's not a different market. That's the same market on the same corner. An inn! Obviously, we don't want to sleep here. We could always do that in Chrono's bed. Actually, we have been to the fair. The Tent of Horrors! I spent all of mine on money. Because I'm smart. That stonks right there. She's practicing social distancing now. She doesn't want anything to do with the fair. Uh, buying... Buying what? I'll buy whatever you're selling. Okay. This is good music. This is deleted music. Earthquake? Stop telling me about things that haven't happened in the war. So this dude's worried about earthquakes that we haven't learned about, but now we learned about them. What the heck is this? Someone just wrote this on the outside of the box. Oh, I'm getting an evil feeling off of this. Oh, an evil box ate the music. That music was a taste of a deleted music called Singing Mountain. It's been re-added to this game. We'll hear it again somewhere. I forget where. Obviously Luca isn't going to be home, but look at all her science. She's just got science all over the place. I think science exploded a little bit here. They even have culinary science. And this is Luca's mom. She's with her father and beeling inventions. I wonder why her mother isn't there. That's a little odd. Wouldn't she want to go and support her daughter? I guess somebody has to hold down the fort. Tradition and all that. It takes all kinds. Certainly nothing tragic, absolutely not. It, it, it couldn't be. The game wouldn't do that. We can go here. You could explore this entire continent in the regular game. This is the Xenon Bridge. Wait a second. Hold on, I need to experiment. Pardon me, people, I'm going to... Something's not right here. Two sons! Also, I, I think it's... Yeah, there's clones here. Yeah, I fit... Triplets! The NPCs are just respawning each other. They're forever trapped on this bridge, and so are we. Oh, yeah, I think you ran out of space, buddy. You and your clone is going to show up in a few seconds. Th there he is right there. He is also trying to open up his stand in the fairgrounds. The music in this game is amazing. Good on you, Mitsuda. I got that name right, right? Yoshinori? Yep. Yep, he did a good. He did a good with this music. This is the world music. I think we kind of spawned it into existence after going to that, uh, that place and playing the Singing Mountain. And this is a big world map for the beginning of a game. Gotta say, a lot of world building going on here. We even got the Mayor's Manor. We got the wrong mayor's manor, though. Oh, that doesn't sound good. He's rich! Hey, wait, no. Now I'm triggered. Chrono has triggered me. The mayor is greedy and his family hates him. How did he get married in the first place? I have no idea. But that's surely not our problem. I'm pretty sure I missed a mayor's house somewhere. That's the town of Poor down there. Ah, that's why the music changed. There's different music for towns and world map. I never noticed that before. Yep, 
it changes, and it echoes really weird, too. Pretty sure I'm missing something around here. Oh, yeah, there's a ticket ferry over here. This only takes you to Poor, though. The fancy boatway. This is the mayor I wanted. I didn't really want it, though. But this place is for tutorial. I did say yes, right? Oh, yes, I, I, I know about your establishment, yeah. Everybody here teaches you about how to play the game. That dude over there. He was standing on top of something shiny, but it's not treasure. I'm just here to take this. And there's something else around here, too. I could have sworn there was something else around here. No, I don't want to learn about damage in battle, thanks. That might be useful, though. Yeah, I, I get it, thank you. I, I've done this before. This is what I wanted, right here. I just took their money and their wallet and they told me absolutely nothing. I did get a wallet, though. Changes uh, experience into money! Pretty good for later in the game if you really need some money. And you don't want to level up. You can stifle your level in a regular game and things will happen for you. But... It's not in this game. They kind of changed it. Ah, so much game! With our moral. This market seems to be open. He's selling a steel saber! I don't have the money for that. I don't have the money for a lot of these things, actually. They even have a pea shooter. Somebody's been to the gungeon. But nah, I got an iron sword. I could farm silver points and buy the steel, steel sword. Lore about a woman named Fiona. Died trying to make a forest. And also there's monsters. Did, did you know there's monsters in this universe? Yeah, they're gonna get something. Uh, give us something upbeat after that joke. Funky, I like it. Keep playing that for 12 hours. Anything new over here? No, just NPCs doing NPC things. They're watching Grandma's house. Now oh, they're useless to me. I just want what's in their grandparents' house. I don't want somebody guarding. Ah, there's a lot more I want to see. Well, it probably won't take too long. We'll go ahead and make this a long video. We'll start out big. There's nothing like a fairy ride, especially if you're playing Chrono Trigger Plus. You could spend 20 gold for everybody in your party. To take a ride the chorus on the super speedboat. You're not allowed to do this. You can't leave that continent. What we're actually going to is um, a place you can't get to until like maybe three quarters through the game, when you have other things at your disposal besides ferry. But this is the town, of course. How? Right in the kisser. Wow, that is dated. That's crazy dated. Don't be like Daddy, he's gonna get powed right in the kisser. She's seen the honeymooners. We got another mayor here. He's a lot older. Something about ruins. There's something creepy going on in the ruins, I'm sure. Like great weather. Oh, negative energy. That sounds like archaeology, if you ask me. Is there treasure in there? Otherwise, it's just negative energy. You have, like, an angered ghost, and then you need the ghost tinklers. This guy's kind of a lush. You've had enough, buddy. He ain't listening to me. Chrono is not very of a talkative sort. Uh, sure. He wants to go to poor. Uh, unfortunately, I am also poor. But this used to be called Tonic. This is a mid-tonic. This is a heal. This is revive. Shelter is about the same. And Ether, I think, is also about the same. They changed some of the names in the DS version to make it sound more in line with like the Final Fantasies and all that. To be honest, I think I like Tonic more. Toma was looking for a rainbow shell. 
Let's go check his grave and see if he ever found that rainbow shell. Since we're supposed to be three quarters into the game now, we're not supposed to be here. Sequence breaking. 6.34, wow, that was a long time ago. 356 years since he died. And here's this ruins everybody's talking about. The Northern Ruins. Yep, that's an angry ghost, all right. Luckily, he's not a violent angry ghost. I think we should get back on the beaten track before he haunts us. Yeah, that is the Northern Ruins. I just wanted to make sure. So we gotta take our ride back to Poor. And... Wait a second, how do we get back? The ferry left! Oh, we're stuck on the wrong side, aren't we? Ah, at least they let some transportation go on here. They don't even show you the trip back, you just teleport you. Why the heck not? They also buzz your left ear, did you feel that? Well, next time on Chrono Trigger, we have a friend! We have a Millennial Fair! We got way too much stuff for a beginning of a game. Also, why is it showing the year? 1000 AD, what, why is that relevant? Good night, folks.